it's chilly this morning. We're getting out of bed. It's like half six, seven o'clock at first light, and it's pretty darn cold. I tried to make the bed of both the dogs, not just Dizzy, both the dogs are trying to get back into the covers Don't as blame I them. folded them up because it's so cold. It's hard, you've got to be motivated, you've got to be disciplined to get out of bed before the sun rises <laughs> in the winter. But we're doing it in a stunning location, best time of day, knowing about, so we can get the drone out and show you exactly where we are. Charlie, we know it's cold when Charlie's trying to get back in bed. Watch out, this. Come here, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Shake it off. No! Oi! <laughs> Oi! It's gonna get it one of these days, isn't it? Dizzy! Diz! You see what Dizzy's like with this drone? We'll have to watch him, because even when the drone's not moving, he tries to eat it. What are you doing? Dizzy, what's the matter? What's the matter? Look, he's nice! <laughs> sit, sit! So we left the spot where we spent the night after taking the drone out first thing this morning. We've had a nice breakfast, drove about five minutes literally down the road and then went through a little village, noticed access to the river for the kayakers. So we thought we'll go and check it out, see if it's worth it. Location. Nice little suspension bridge going across the river, and it's just again absolutely stunning. We've been so lucky with the weather the last few days. Like, as you can see today, it's a lovely day, a lovely sort of, and it's proper getting into winter now. Really cold in the mornings, but then the sun comes up and it's just great. So we had a nice little walk over that bridge. And it's just so quiet everywhere. I mean, you know, we're right in the Soccer Valley. There's just no people. It's like we've got the whole place to ourselves. So we've just sort of chilled today and enjoyed the sunshine. Went for a walk. And then there's port loos here, really clean port loos which is great. A little changing room. And we're just enjoying this winter sun. Doesn't look as good as it would do in spring. Yeah, because, because the water levels are quite low, but there's still plenty of nice lush blue waters to mm. look at. But obviously a huge plus is it's just so quiet. Whereas obviously this place, I think everywhere along here would just be ramoed in the summer, you know. So you have to take the rough with the smooth, don't you? But we are having a very relaxed, nice, so nice. enjoyable few days. Yeah, it could be raining for like five, six days at the end of the week. So we've got three days to see the rest of this area, the rest of the, this stunning soccer valley before the winter kicks in. Charlie, it's injured, isn't it? You're trying to save it. You want to lick it, kiss it better. The little tail going. Charlie loves animals and everything, doesn't he? Oh, it's already injured when they found it. What are you going to do with it? You're going 
to help it. No. <laughs> He's trying to gently do it. Oh. oh. You trying to save it? Oop. That's enough, Charlie. Charlie, don't eat it. Has it been hurt now? Oh! oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Straight into his mouth. I don't know if you can see that on camera. It's a massive spider. We don't like spiders. We're in the World War One tunnels. There's a machine gun. Be careful, there's a spider there. Where? There. Oh gosh, yeah. There's another spider there. There's spiders everywhere. Why did you bring me down here? There's spiders, loads of dead spiders all around. There's actually a little scorpion there. There's a scorpion. Which is quite cool. Come out of here. Basically, this is a tunnel what they used in World War One to defend themselves against the Russians and the Italians, right? Mm -hmm. And now it's just a spidery <laughs> death trap. This main big tunnel that we're walking through is not too bad, but you go off to the little side tunnels where there's little turrets and stuff, and there's spiders everywhere. for that. Quite cool that though, isn't it? Look, how it just blends in. Why are you walking like there's spiders everywhere? We're outside now. <laughs> hey. Yeah. It's all moth covered. This should be a pretty cool walk. Apparently there's loads of ladders going into dark dungeons and deep holes. I'm not going into any more dungeons. I don't mind walking through that main big bit where there's loads of, you know, room around you but when you go through one that there's only 20 centimeters between you and the wall and the walls have got big spiders on it there's no way right guys so we've done the half an hour walk from the spidery hole down there to the fort up here at the mountains and it just looks like a ruin but yeah we're eager to have a little look inside and uh see all the little rooms were stupid we're a bit poorly at the moment a bit sick and um, we completely forgot to bring the drone up unfortunately which would have been great but hey ho let's go in there have a look inside when it was bombed in the war, in the First World War, no love? Yeah. And basically <clears> it's just been left, there's these big bits of rubble everywhere throughout, so it does really give you like a sense of, a sense of how it kind of was back then. freaked about again the spiders on the rocks on the way down I'm like trying not to look because if I see one I'll just let go <laughs> <laughs> quite Water cool there pretty cool and down here we go you like taking me down caves don't you there's the ice cave now this world war one rock 
spider infested <laughs> cave. <laughs> Very good though, this is just give you a proper sense of how it was. Totally. No glamming it up. Oh wow, look at this. Oh my god. That way's outside. That way's outside. Let's go down the dark cabin. This is gonna lead, oh it said three turrets, didn't it? So this will lead to another. hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button below if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please do and keep the comments coming because we absolutely love to hear from you and we'll see you in the next video